Turning down the music on Fort Myers Beach, people who live near popular restaurants like The Whale have complained for years that the live music is too loud. Then this past June, a rule was made that live music couldn't play past 6.30 p.m. by the local planning agency. Wink News reporter Michael Hudak joins us live from Fort Myers Beach. Michael, what did those people say? Like Rihanna said, Mr. DJ, would you turn the music up? Except these people, they want it down. I'm talking about people in a neighborhood like that near this restaurant where I am right now, The Whale. So the town said no live music after 6.30 p.m. And that put musicians between rock and roll and a hard place. I've got one thing to say. My name's Brady Smith. Play that funky music, Brady. <laughs> Just kidding, I have more to say. This is Brady, and this is his wife. I'm Elizabeth Smith. Together, they are the two-man band, Briz and Lady. This is the third member of their band, their daughter, Beckett. We met in music school in St. Paul, Minnesota. And ever since then, their love has never gone flat. We were potentially going to leave. Or sharp. They make a living and a loving going around to different spots across Southwest Florida. Which is why the rules on music on Fort Myers Beach were so hard for them. People complained about the music coming from the restaurant, The Whale. The original owners of the property signed an agreement that said they would not play any live music at all. The current owners of The Whale went before the local planning agency to try to get that rule modified. And the LPA said, okay, you cannot play live amplified music after 6.30 p.m. So literally for amplified music, we 100% have to have amplification because I use all this looping stuff. Right. So I do the beatboxing. You can see and hear as Brady's playing on the guitar, he's also laying down a beat using these pedals. Take away amplification, you take away all of this, including the microphone he's singing with. So without it, you probably wouldn't hear him in a crowded restaurant. That would be like asking you to do a news story without this microphone or without a camera. So the majority owner of the whale, Mike Miller, and musicians from across the beach, including Brady Smith, got up and defended their right to rock to the town council that ultimately agreed with them. This is a tourist island and we need to have nightlife. We have to have it. Otherwise, the people coming to this island are gonna leave and go somewhere else where there is nightlife. Mm -hmm. So in order to keep the revenue flowing on the beach and help us all build back, we need later music times. Right, Beckett. <laughs> Beckett was very vocal today. The town council vetoed the local planning agency's ruling and made the cutoff for live amplified music on the beach 9 p.m. every single day instead of 6.30 p.m. Most musicians on the beach feel like 9 is still a little bit too early, but at this point, they will take what they can get. On Fort Myers Beach, Michael Hudak, Wink News.